Hey guys, it's NJ Cali Gardner, February 20th, 2018. I just want to show you guys um, the results of our frost that we, that we had last night through this morning. And so I wanted to show you my citrus trees first and just give you an update on how things are going. It was growing new foliage, new uh, foliage, and some of it got damaged a little bit. As you can see, up in this area, turn brown, you know, due to too much cold. So what I'm gonna do is cover it. I didn't cover this last night. And then we take you over here to my blood orange tree. And this did not get any damage because I had it covered. No damage here. And then here's the blood on the uh, regular Washington navel and this got a little bit of cold on the damage on the top. And I did cover this, but I think this one was a little bit too early. So, it will be getting covered tonight. So, stay tuned, guys. Okay, guys, we're back, and I just want to show you my strawberries. What you don't want to do is allow this to happen to your strawberries. And strawberries love heat. The temperature like in the 70s. And last night, it got a little bit too cold. Last night, it was under 30 degrees, 29, 30 degrees. My neighborhood I guess and uh but this one did very well but this one here has it and then the everbearing sweet you see has some damage but so what I'm gonna do just in case it gets uh, a little bit under tw uh, 20 30 degrees I'm gonna cover it with this for a little bit of protection around it and so just in case, just in case, I'm gonna do the same for this one. And this, this one definitely, yeah. I think I'm gonna show you. So the winter vegetables did good. Cabbage, cabbage, radish, and kale. And then I have also my spinach cover, so I'm gonna do the same thing. And this was already covered about a month ago. So it's been doing great ever since it's been covered in this little greenhouse. I'm gonna do that for all my ceilings. So and the uh, collard day is doing very well because it's a cold crop as well. So and my and it's, it's so weird though because look at this. The spinach is doing very well. No damage. Let's put that here. And the beast as well. No cover on anything on these seed starts. Seeds. So, stay tuned. So I decided to guys to cover my strawberries in a mini greenhouse using a leftover container. So that's covered here. This also will be covered the Everberry Sweet, as you can see. And also, let's take a look at what's going on here. These flowers. Still protected. Worst thing ever is that I didn't really cover this at all with protection. But the blood orange tree was protected with um, a frost blanket I had used. And then this my lemon tree wasn't. And so no damage with this. But the weirdest thing ever, guys, was that the, the, my uh, Washington navel had got a little bit damaged and it was covered. And I took it off this morning. There was no damage on it. And, what happened compared to the bottom weirdest thing ever guys stay tuned hey guys i covered my strawberries as well today my other strawberries and this is albine strawberry i guess i think it's the name of it and so let's cover along with one of the everbrown sweet strawberries in the middle this one, this one was damaged, so it wasn't covered. Now this was covered last night. I just did it. But uh, guys, I will tell you something right now. The cabbage did very great, very well. The Russian kale did very well. 
spinach did very well, very well. And these was covered a whole about a week ago. And so I gotta get more macarons for these. And the collard greens did very well. Also my beets and um, sea stars that wanna cover did excellent. I'm gonna show you these guys, these guys right here. This was not covered at all. I don't know if I want to cover it tonight. I'm gonna take a chance and a risk and see what happens on tomorrow when I come home. But anywho, stay tuned, guys, and remember, happy gardening and your destiny for greatness. Peace.